Hey guys, Zero here with a quick review video for Sniper Elite 3. I recently played Sniper Elite 3 on my live stream, twitch.tv slash zero to hero x, as part of my stream series playing every Xbox 360 game NA. I was able to net 715 gamer score off of 40 of the original 50 achievements. There's also 10 achievements for DLC. I wasn't going to buy DLC for a game that I don't own. I actually rented this from Gamefly. So I wasn't going to go for those achievements. Now netting the 715 gamer score, I had to do this while gritting my teeth through some of the worst gameplay with some very awesome cinematics. Uh, there... X-ray shots in this game were done phenomenally. Unfortunately, if you want to play co-op, you have to surpass X-ray shots in order to do so. Because apparently we live in a day and age where you cannot implement the same functionalities into a multiplayer that you do into the single player portion of a campaign. The... Achievement for obtaining a testicle shot, I would say, is easiest done on the very first level. That is where I grabbed it. Uh, that is the tutorial level. The hit registration in this game is atrocious. Uh, the sniper's nests are absolutely awesome. I enjoyed finding sniper's nests and locating targets through them. There are long shots that you will try to obtain that if you go into a sniper's nest and see uh, small white targets, you know that's the sniper's nest where you're going to find your long shot. Yet again, hit registration. Good luck nailing your target once you locate it. Try to use your binoculars to find those targets. Some of them can be very, very far in distance. The co-op also has an issue where when you are reviving your teammate, you cannot do so from prone. Unfortunately, if you're going to try to revive your teammate from prone, it will force you to stand up, then force you to get in crouch position. All of this, of course, while you're looking directly at your teammate because you cannot revive them any other way. Once you do revive them, it will force you back down into the prone position and force you into some type of serpentine move uh, that looks very glitchy. If you are the person who is getting revived, when you are revived, you will also do kind of a movement that can only be related to a dog rubbing its rear end on the carpet very quickly before you're able to get up. It seems that in this eight level campaign, once they got through the first four levels, they forgot about checkpoints. Because when you are going through in co op, uh, in the last four levels, you die anywhere in the level, and it seems you have to go immediately back to just after the first objective that you did on the level. Which is very infuriating because the vehicles in this game are auto kills. So if you are playing co-op, be very, very cautious about this. If you are playing single player, make sure to create a hard save as often as you can by pressing the start button and clicking save. The vehicles being auto kills pose a very very big problem one if you're in single player you can die immediately so if there are vehicles around make sure you find a head glitch and attempt to destroy the vehicles via the head glitch if you are playing co-op try not to be in the open around a vehicle because your teammate will not be able to revive you because the vehicle will just continue to shoot you over and over and over again the multiplayer in this game was entertaining yet boring uh forceful 20 minute matches are all that you can find there are several god spots on the map where people 
once they get in that spot, may watch you spawn on the different spawn points because the spawns are, for some reason, always out in the open. Uh, not like in a room or anything, but literally in the open desert. Uh, you will just be spotted almost immediately. Someone can watch you go right to where you are heading and smash you as soon as you try to aim down sights. Although the sniping in here was done in the manner of which sniping should be. So those of you who hate quote-unquote campers, this is not the game for you because that's the way real sniping is done and that's how people will play the game. The campaign itself, though, does not feel very much of a sniper-type game, considering the fact that most of your campaign experience is going to be spent in short to medium-range distances. I feel the game probably should have been named Military Infantry Elite Equipped with a Sniper Rifle. Jury's verdict on this, 4 out of 10, don't waste your money on the game. In fact, you might not even want to waste a rental. You can definitely find some spots where sniping is fun, but the game overall is just atrocious. I hope this video has been informative for you. Yo, you guys, thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you click the like button. You got comments or suggestions or questions for me, please drop it down in the comment section. Hopefully I'll see you as the newest part in Zero's Heroes on twitch.tv slash zero to hero x. Until next time, guys, you guys stay heroic. Peace.